12 TC4, a 16 meter uh, asteroid, will go scraping by the Earth on October the 12th. We're seven days away before this sign will appear. And I'm telling you, it is the third sign of the apocalypse. Now, the first one being the solar eclipse. No question, that was a sign from God. Uh, even before that sign came, the Lord revealed to me that this was a sign of the rise of 40 days of repentance, a time for America and the world to realize that God was bringing the apocalyptic hour upon us. In those 40 days, as I said, because it's the same day, this solar eclipse happened the same day that Jonah went into Nineveh. Well, when this eclipse happened on the first day of the 40 days of repentance or the, or the 40 days of Elu, uh, God showed me that there would be uh, a warning to the United States and others around the world. Well, what happened in those 40 days? Hurricane Harvey smashing into Texas, Hurricane Irma smashing into Florida, Hurricane Maria destroying Puerto Rico, unbelievable wildfires in the West Coast, including the largest fires ever in, San, in uh, Los Angeles, and record wildfires in British Columbia, Canada, two killer earthquakes in Mexico, uh, one of them the largest in 100 years, 369 killed, another 102 killed, plus two hurricanes smashing into uh, Mexico, Hurricane Katia and Hurricane Max, killing people on both sides. And then we had two massive solar flares on the sun during a solar minimum when it should be quiet. These two eruptions of the sun were incredible. They were apocalyptic. One of them, the 14th largest solar flare ever recorded in history at a 9.3 X class. And then we had Kim Jong-un threatening to go boom with his nuclear holocaust annihilation threats against both the United States and Japan. All of this in a 40-day window. Now, the second sign of the apocalypse was certainly the September 23rd, the Revelation 12 sign, the constellation lining up perfectly to the 2,000-year-old prophecy in the book of Revelation. God's constellational proclamation to the world that you're living in the age of the Antichrist, that the beast kingdom's about to rise. And God is letting us know that the coming apocalypse is upon us. Well, the third sign of the apocalypse, I believe, is this asteroid. Asteroid 2012 TC4. It's coming at the end of the feast season, and it's going to be very close. Scientists are saying NASA's been concerned that it would come anywhere between 4,200 miles from the Earth to 24,000 miles from the Earth. And some say 5,400 miles from the surface of the Earth. Every uh, observatory in the world have turned their uh, telescopes toward this asteroid. And we don't know what's behind it. There could be two more. Or, you know, a lot of times they travel in companions. Something we can't see because of its behind it could even be closer. This is going to be a close shave, according to NASA. And I think it's God's way of saying you're very close to the coming apocalypse. The Bible says in Luke 21, verse 11, and great earthquakes shall be in divers places and famines and pestilences and fearful sights and great signs shall there be from heaven. All right? These are some of the apocalyptic clues, apocalyptic proclamations, prophecies by the Lord Jesus Christ himself. And here's some more. In verse 25, I'm in Luke 21, 25, there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and upon the earth distress of nations with perplexity, the sea, the waves, roaring. I mean, are you serious? Everything here is happening. Men's hearts failing them for fear, for looking after those things coming upon the earth, for the powers of heaven shall be shaken. And then shall they see the sign of the Son of Man. They shall see the Son of Man coming in a cloud with power and great glory. When these things begin to come to pass, he said, look up, lift up your head. Your redemption is drawing nigh. 
Asteroid 2012 TC4, the third sign of the apocalypse. Give your life to Christ Jesus. We're at the end of the age.